Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, I'm gonna be going over the installation process for part number LGT-030, which is our RGB LED light strip kit. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at everything that comes in that kit and the tools we're gonna to need to perform the installation. So when you receive your kit, you're going to have your LED strip in a roll, just like this. You're also going to have your electrical connections, which are your Bluetooth controller, as well as your inline fuse. After that, you're going to have your set of installation instructions, as well as your bag of hardware. Now, depending on where you're going to be mounting your LED strip, your installation could vary slightly, but for sure, you're definitely going to need some electrical tools, such as your wire strippers and crimpers. Now, as always, before we get started, we just wanna make sure that we set our parking brake, turn our cart off, and if we have an electric cart, we're gonna flip the tow run switch to the tow position. And also, because we're gonna be working with the electrical system on the cart, we're gonna go ahead and completely disconnect our battery or our battery pack. So to go over the installation process, I have a 12 volt battery sitting right here on the table. Now, something to keep in mind with this kit is it is only a 12 volt kit. So if you try to hook it up to anything more than 12 volts, it's not going to work and it will blow out. So in order to get started, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our fuse to our Bluetooth controller. Now for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna twist my two sets of wires together, but if you were gonna be installing this onto a cart, you would want to use an actual electrical connection such as a butt connector or a splice. And again, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna take some electrical tape and wrap it around my connections just so the two of them don't touch and short each other out. So once you have your inline fuse installed, we can go ahead and connect the Bluetooth controller to the LED strip. And then once you have the Bluetooth controller connected to the LED strip, we can go ahead and connect that to power just to make sure that everything works before we dive into the Bluetooth app. So the LED lights come pre-programmed with the blue color as the original color. So if you want blue as your typical color, then you can go ahead and just install and wrap up here. But if you want to change your colors, we're going to jump into the Bluetooth app, which is the Happy Lighting app, and I'll show you how to work that. So once you have your Happy Lighting app downloaded, we're going to go ahead and go up to the three bars here at the top left corner so that we can verify that we are connected. And when you're connected, you will see that there is a little link button there on the side. Once we've verified our connection, we're gonna go ahead and dive into the app and we can start by going up to the top and looking at our power on and power off button. Below that, we have our color wheel so we can select any of the colors of the rainbow. There are a ton of different colors in here and you can select any one that you want. We're gonna stick with a green for right now. And underneath of that, you have your brightness control. And then at the bottom of the page, you also have a bunch of different preset colors as well. Now, also at the bottom of the app, we have a style button, which is a pulsating different of colors. And we have a bunch of different colors that we can go through. You can change the speed of those as well. We have pulsating red, pulsating green, blue, all of the different colors. We also have some strobe features as well. We can turn that speed down if we need to. Okay. Now also we have the ability to control the lights with our microphone built into our phone. We can also adjust, adjust the sensitivity here. And you can see the lights off to the side here changing as I speak. And then lastly, we have the music feature. You can put your own music in here, but there are a few sounds already in there and then the light will change to the beat of the music. So now that we've verified that everything works, we can go ahead and mount our LED strip wherever we want to on the cart. Now you have a couple different options for mounting that strip as there is a self-adhesive backing to the LED strip itself and it also comes with some clips that are adhesive as well. Or if none of those work for your location, you can go ahead and just zip tie it in place. 
Now something else to remember when you are working with your LED strip is if it is too long at any point, you want to make sure that you cut it along the lines where there are scissors on the LED strip. You want to make sure that you cover that with some clear silicone as well to prevent any short in the electrical circuit. Now once you've mounted your lights and verify that everything works once again, that's going to do it for the install for part number LGT-030, which is our RGB LED light strip kit. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.